And here we have a big bird. And a big bird <laughs> sleeps in a with this one. Bird's nest. Yep. How come we didn't have him call in? Well, that would have been a lot funnier and made more sense. Yeah. But instead, I just pulled up his picture. So, do you guys remember Big Bird? Big Bird lived in um, Sesame Street. Hey, you know what, sweetie? What? Let's do this. Would you mind teleporting me to Sesame Street? You want to go to Sesame Street? Yeah. We haven't been there in a long time. Oh, yeah, sure. Hang on. I'm going to go to Sesame Street and then talk about Sesame Street. Okay, hang on. Uh, let's see. One to teleport to Sesame Street. Make it so. Number one. No. Nah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm here on Sesame Street. Bloop. Okay, Boujou. Hi, sweetie. Oh, good. Did you make it? Yeah, I'm here in one piece. How is it? It's quiet. It's like a ghost town. Hello? Hello? Anybody? Big Bird? Mr. Hooper? Uh, Mr. Hooper's been dead for 50 years. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, the Count or whoever? Nobody's there, huh? No, no one's here. Weird. Do you think they all got the COVID and died? They're probably all uh, quarantining. Oh, maybe they're just quarantining. Hmm. Well, that's weird. All right, well, I'm going to talk about Sesame Street. All right, give me a call when you want me to pick you up. Okay. Roger that. Over and out. Over and out, sweetie. Boop. Okay. So, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Sesame Street. Can you tell me how to get to the place with a walk on and a was seen? Now, the thing about Sesame Street is that there's animals walking around in the streets. You got your big bird. You got your, um... What do we want to call him? Gitchy Benashin. And Big Bird is weird. He might be, um, what's the word? Not retarded. Uh, developmentally disabled. Because, by my estimation, Big Bird's got to be around 57, 58 at the er youngest. Because when I was a little girl, back in the 70s, um, Big Bird, the joke was that he was huge, but he was like a little chick living in the streets with no mommy. He just lived in that big old bird's nest. What? This one? That's how I remember bird's nest. I go, uh... You know, it's a really crappy place you gotta live, that nest. What, this one? It's my street nest. Anyway, <laughs> so Big Bird lives in a big nest in the streets. Kind of behind, like, uh, kind of over there somewhere. And now, it's five, six decades later, and Big Bird still acts like he's five or six years old. Like he doesn't understand anything. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, they've introduced, like, Granny Bird. Like, he's got a grandmother who's somehow still alive? Anyway, I don't trust Big Bird because he's a grown adult who acts like a little kid and surrounds himself with little kids and pretends he's dumb. It's just got, you know, that Michael Jackson vibe all over it. I don't like Big Bird. Get you banishing. Forget it. But you know what else is weird? Now you got an animal. 
Yes, I know Animal wasn't on Sesame Street. He was on The Muppet Show. And when I was a little girl, I loved The Muppet Show. Muppet Show came out when I was like a sixth grader. And so it was kind of like people, you know, sort of, um, you sort of graduated to the, the Muppet Show. If you grew up on Sesame Street, by the time you were too old for Big Bird, they pulled, they rolled out the Muppet Show. And the Muppet Show had a little more adult humor. You would have, you know, uh, this is, um, I guess I would call him Awasin. Because he's so wild. But actually, he's probably a human being. But they call him Animal. He's just Animal. He's got one name. He plays drums. He's, you know, tweaked out on meth. And, um, you know, he's a, I was seeing, he's a wild animal. I used to be able to do an impersonation of, um, animal. Let me think if I can do it. <clears throat> Beat, drum, no. Beat, drums. No, how's it go? Beat, drums. Ah! Yeah, I think that's it. Beat, no. Beat, drums. Ah! Animal, animal. Something like that. I'm not, I can't do impersonations. But, so Animal played drums and took drugs. And uh, they had to chain him up, I guess. Ew, I don't know. So that's um, Animal. Oh, but this, uh, the Muppet Show then would also have like rock stars on. They'd have one non-Muppet guest every week. A new person to host the show or whatever. And it would be like... Alice Cooper or whoever. And uh, so I, you know, I loved it. You get to watch live music. Not live music, but you get to see Prince, you know, <laughs> singing with a bunch of Muppets or whatever. <clears throat> so it was pretty fun, but weird. And uh, that leaves... Let me move this guy out of the way. Cookie Monster. Um, Bequasia Gunts is a cookie. I mean, it's kind of a cookie animal, so Bequasia Gunts I was seen, I guess. I mean, what is a monster? Um, but have you ever noticed how similar Cookie Monster and animal sound? Cookie again. I can't. I can't do impersonations. <clears throat> cookie, me love. No, <clears throat> me love cookie. No, let me try it one time. <clears throat> me love cookie. Me love cookie. Yeah. And then there's animal. Yeah. Beat drum. Beat drum. So what is that? You know, I'm not into conspiracy theories, but what if? Animal or animal and cookie monster were the same guy. Have you thought about that? What does that mean? Is it just like an actor based reality? Is nothing real? Do they just have people playing like public figures? You know? Then one day it's like, oh, that, that you know, there's, there really is no animal and there really is no cookie monster. It's just an actor playing these people on the world stage. You know, sort of like, um, I mean, you name it, George Floyd, Kyle Rittenhouse. These aren't real people. Abby Putito, you know, they're actors on a world stage of fake information. Psychological warfare, man. I don't know. But these are just some of my thoughts on this gizzy biggie, sagina gay, on this floor washing day. I don't know. <laughs> no. Um, okay. Is it biggie? So gonna gay floor washing day. Or gives you good floor washing day. 
I don't know, should I put some tobacco or something? Hmm. Ernie! Bert! Kermit! Anybody? It's weird actors who uh, are aging and dying. Like, um, what? Marie? <laughs> Gordon? Are you guys still on the show? I don't know where they went. Bloop. Okay, hey, Boujou. Hi, sweetie. Well, hi, Natasha. You all done there? Yeah, I think so. You want to come home? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to scan for your coordinates, and then I'm going to lock on your coordinates. Okay. And then I'll te teleport you home. <laughs> okay. One to teleport. Make it so, number one. No. Hey, welcome back. Thank you, sweetie. How was it over there? I don't know. Creepy? Everything's so creepy to me now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> anyway, did you want to get up here? Yeah, sure. All right, you guys. I'm going to turn the microphone over to Ace Frehley. Shock me. Dinner now. No. Um, I'm going to turn the show over to the star of the show. Nana Bushu. But first, um, let's make the transition with a song. Bushu Nana Bushu will return after this message. These messages. After this song, I guess. Check one, two. Check one, two. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Are you ready, sweetie? Oh, uh, yeah, whenever you are. Okay, let's get started. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, hey, Buju. Welcome to Buju, not a Buju. And uh, here's our theme song. No, that's a terrible intro. <laughs> that's what. Take two. Take two. All right, take two. Take two. <clears throat> um, welcome to Buju, not a Buju, the podcast about Ojibwe language, and culture. Show. Welcome back to Buju, not a Buju, a podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. All right. <laughs> 